Okay, Andrew, this is for you. We are given a position function of a moving particle, and we have two parts. First, we are going to find the average speed from 4 to 6. And this right here is the slope formula pretty much, right? So I will just write this down right here, V average. Remember, what you do is you look at the final position. So I just put on, this is my S, okay? S at 6, the final position, and then minus S of 4 because that will be the initial position. And then divided by how long it takes, right? So it will be 6 minus 4, which is 2 seconds. But this is pretty much all you have to do. Well, to get s of 6, you refer back to this equation, and let's just put it down right here real quick. s of 6, this is equal to, you put 6 into the t's, you get negative 2 times 6 to the third power, and we add 13 t squared. So that's plus 13, and the t is 6, so put the 6 here, and then we have that square. Of course, right here, you can just work this out. I'll leave that to you. You end up with 36. And then similarly, we calculate S of 4 by putting the 4 into all the t's right here. So we end up with negative 2 times 4 to the third power plus 13 times 4 to the second power, and you end up with 80. Well, well, right here we can come back. S of 6 is 36. And then we minus S of 4, which is 80. And over, let's just keep it at 6 minus 4, which is of course 2. But just do this on your own. On the top is negative 44, on the bottom is 2. So altogether, you end up with negative 22. Right, this negative 44 divided, two, divided by 2. So negative 22. And notice the S, which is the position, is in meters. And then T is in second. So right here, I will write it down as meters per second, but let me spell it out because sometimes if you abbreviate the S as second word position, I don't know, seconds, right? Yeah, so that's it. And here you have negative velocity. That means you are you know, on average moving toward the left. All right. On the other hand, if you want to find the instantaneous velocity of the moving particle when t is 4, we have to do some calculus, then you can just do the derivative because the first derivative tells you the in, in, uh, instantaneous uh, velocity. All right, so right there, I will just try down v of t, which is just the derivative of the position function. Well, if you look here, here you can just bring the street to the front and you have negative 6 t and the minus 1 to the power. So we have the square here and then we add bring the 2 to the front, which is going to be 26 t to the first power. So that's pretty much the idea, right? So this is v of t. And then to get v of 4, same thing, we're pretty much just plugging 4 into all the t's, so we can just get negative 6 times 4 squared plus 26 times 4, like this. Work this out, in the end, you end up with 8. And once again, this is um, the instantaneous velocity, and the unit for this is meters per second, right? per one second, so second like this, right? So this right here is, yeah, this right here is it, and yeah.